Hello everybody and welcome back to the Jid Empire walkthrough. Uh, once again, we're at the Imperial Arena. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we've I don't think we've left for the last three videos ish, something like that. Maybe maybe not that many. I don't know. This the the whole the whole arena takes quite a bit of time. It ends up being something like I don't know, fifteen fights. Something like that. I don't know. I don't. I didn't actually count it out, but it seemed like it was about that many anyway. Uh, let's see. Can I think of what we actually did in the last video? Oh, <laughs> uh, Lucky Cho got his. Uh, and I think we finished off the. I want to hear that you're ready for your next fight. Was the last fight? What I don't. Do you need? I don't remember now. Maybe that was the video before. I don't know. We've got a blank from the Imperial Army. They want one of our best to help them test All right, out a uh, I gotta take on some golems, though. Yeah, I remember this one. I've decided to put you up against them. I want you to prove that our folks are superior to anything All right, so the, could devise. The golems are to immune to martial style, Excellent. I believe. Me and we'll get you ready for your Possibly next even support. I can't back that up, though, because I do not remember. Um, but I use the, I think I end up using the Crimson Tears, so the new double sabers weapon style, which, uh, you know, the first time I played the game, I really liked it, and it's not bad, it's not even that I, it's not even that I don't like them anymore, I, I still actually really do, but uh, I like the dual axe so much better, it's so good. The uh, Imperial Army go. honors us with a most oh, unique two. trial. Uh, three, yeah, it looks like three. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, uh, let's see here. Yeah, I got Crimson Tears already all queued up and ready to go. Oh, I, I went into the menu just to kind of pause for a little bit. 58 style points in. No, that's not too bad. I don't know what I leveled up next. Double saber points, so hopefully the next style we get can level up pretty quickly, or most likely immediately. But uh, the dual sabers are pretty quick. problem with the golems is they don't reel, you know, you strike them. So if they're starting attack, then you, and then you start attacking them. They're gonna keep swinging regardless of whether you peg them or not, you know? So it looks like it's what stabs. I kept losing just two. I didn't get to see the third one. But it's, like I said, it's pretty, they're pretty quick attacks. I knew you could defeat those things. The Imperial Army's telling me they figured out some way to improve upon the design, thanks to you. I say stick to traditional soldiers. Sagacious Tien needed no machines to build the Empire. When you walk the streets in... Save. It's always a good idea, especially you here. Ready for you don't want to mess up your uh, what do you need? your Imperial Arena record. I rushed out notification of this match, and we've had the outcriers shouting themselves hoarse. I hear many nobles will even be in attendance. 
It's rare that the Silver Division rests balanced against a single victory on the scales of combat, you know. But you, Raging Dragon, are what truly draws them in. Once in a lifetime does a single person throw the grand institution of the arena into such disarray. Will you face Soldier now? The Silver Division Championship awaits you. If that's the decision you want to make, it's your profanation. When you want this... Bububuir aqui fita rir. Nara rir. Looks like you're still walking after that last match. Too bad. We'll take care of that in the next match, New Blood. Trust me. I've been looking forward to taking you down a notch. I look f While I cannot see you, your appearances are hard to ignore. Welcome again. Are you here for a treatment or simple socializing? I'm afraid I can't help you. I know all the fighters, but I'm not at liberty to discuss them. I'm certain you understand the ethics at stake. My knowledge of their strengths and weaknesses would be a weapon in the wrong hands. Be well. Right, so Dr. On wouldn't give me any information. I rushed out no Darn it. Oh, ethics. I guess not everybody can be crooked like uh, Kylana. All right. Iron Soldier, make sure of that. So some of these must be programmed, the little tips. Some of them must be programmed at, like the appropriate times. Yeah, you know, so like that one right there, that one had to be. Okay, well, if you're next... You know, match is gonna be Iron Soldier, then boom, we give you that little tip. Soldier has faced all comers, but how will the Silver Champion fare against Raging Dragon? Raging Tiger. I like the intro there to the match. We're in the, we're in the cages. Pretty good, pretty good so showmanship there. And uh, so Iron Soldier obviously uses uh, Leaping Tiger as well. I wonder kind of what the, the NPCs you know, yeah. Like right there, that looks like he was way faster than me. Like he did the, the two jabs and then the front flip like crazy fast. But I don't know. I don't know if they're you know, programmed to be a little bit faster or slower, or if it changes depending on like HP totals. I'm not sure, but um, I guess either way, he went down fairly quickly there. So not uh, not too challenging of a fight. I can't really say that though for all the fights. You know, I'll, I'll, I actually the majority of them are fairly easy, but um, definitely the last fight, uh, Ravager, is very difficult. So, uh, we'll see here. Soldier we'll see is a worthy there. opponent. I hope you understand how many warriors have tried to extrapolate him from the Silver Division Championship. Be proud! Extrapolate. From here, your battles will be even <laughs> harder. A test, if you will, to see if you stand a chance against the Ravager. Impress the crowd, and you will have your chance against the Ravager himself. I can promise you that. Surely this was enough. I know the crowd loved that show, but there's no way I can offer you extra just because of that. All your fights are impressive.
I know you feel like a rising star, but now that that's... So there you see my in intuition skill didn't pay off once again. Uh, so I, I was at 51. Yeah, so maybe if I would have put on that other gem, the intimidation one, then are maybe, but I don't know what the skill check ignore. is required. For you are a master of the arena, the ground where executioners are born. Uh, yeah, so here we've got the executioner's approval there may be a here role now. In the executioners for you after all. Why come to me when you've already begun to court the Inquisitor? Do you seek the blessing of someone less corrupted? No, you are stronger than that. We will train away this timid front and tap a potential that you haven't yet dreamed of. If you survive, you will join an order unlike any other. We enforce the will of Death's Hand and the Emperor. We guard the treasures of the Empire. This will be your responsibility. Can you look on silver coins, golden tablets, or prophesized artifacts and think only of duty? Then we will waste no more time. You are adequate, and I will allow you to begin training. Proceed to our fortress. It lies at the far side of the burial ground that is the necropolis, which you may reach through the rich section of the city. Present this token so that they will know you. I expect great things of you. Not many of our recruits possess both the skills to become executioners and the personality to attract such a loyal band of followers. Indeed. Many others think that they are above the norm when they join us, as if acceptance elevates their status. You will learn that conformity to our ways will serve you better. I am well aware of those who come with you, their strengths and their weaknesses. You inspire loyalty in most of those who follow you. That will serve you well. Am I? Or do you doubt your own abilities to deal with them if proven treacherous? In time, you will see that your loyalty to our order is all that matters. If you survive your training and remain in control of your senses, perhaps you will serve at my side one day. Success. After a fashion. We should go inform the others after we leave the arena. I suppose it is good that the Lotus Assassin Executioner accepted you. I wish I felt better about that. Will you be heading to the Lotus Assassin Fortress soon? When you are through there, the Princess will take us to the palace. I dread the answer, but is there something the Inquisitor wants you to do as well? We are much closer to finding our master, but the path you are forced to take worries me, and I don't think the Princess shares my concern. We have faced these Lotus Assassins in small numbers before, but this is something different. That is not what I meant. Hordes can be overcome. They are never the endless threat they appear to be. What concerns me is how you have walked in their steps to fool them. I am growing accustomed to you. I don't want to see this change you. <laughs> you embarrass me with such forward questions, but I think I like that as well. It bothers me that you risk so much to walk in the shadow of the enemy. I don't want to win if it claims the good in you. What right do we have to harmony if we sacrifice what we believe to get it? I know you won't, but it still does my heart good to hear it. The more I know about you, the more I want you to stay as you are. 
It would be a shame for something to happen when we are becoming close. We will talk again. I know everything will work out just fine. Very well, but we should get that business with Minister Shang out of the way. All right, so uh, don't worry. After I'll you get right the approval you. from one or the other, uh, you know, Inquisitor or or uh, what you call it, uh, that's well. another. Despite the sorry, uh, Inquisitor. Yeah, you know, is it Inquisitor? It's the Inquisitor. Time is Inquisitor coming, or Executioner? Not yet. Then you can uh, there talk is a great to challenge ahead of you. Uh, Don Star and will continue the romance very closely. And it didn't look like there. Uh, it didn't look like this is more like Zoo had anything else to say. I think um, you must go maybe to the we'll Lotus head Assassin to the. Fortress, like we agreed. I know for sure Find there's the a scene in the, hand, and I will in help the camp, you rescue so Master we'll end up heading there in a little bit to see that. I don't understand. You've gained the favor of the Lotus Assassins with a fair amount of ease. What else is there to speak of? Is there something you are wondering? About me? I am Princess Sun Lian, the Heavenly Lily. What more are you worthy of knowing? I do not remember ever being allowed to just be a child. My mother died when I was born, shortly before the end of the long drought and the fall of my uncles. I was in the care of tutors too afraid to punish me and too ingratiating to teach me anything useful. I quickly found ways to sneak away from the palace. They dared not report my excursions for fear they would be punished. They would scurry around all day trying in vain to find me. Yes, it was. I didn't fully understand the risk and made some mistakes. But in the end, what I have become is a result of that. In the city, I met the people. The peasants, the homeless, the thieves. It was a much different world from what you see from the palace. They never realized who I was. I'm sure they would have been terrified of the army storming in to rescue me. Most just wanted to be left alone. That life was exciting, but also useful. Even Lotus assassins overlook the beggar on the street, but she still has eyes and ears. You announce your questions like a wild animal with no warning of the claws you unleash. Proceed slowly, lest you turn me away. Ah, the shadow behind my public self. How else can a curious princess learn what really happens in her domain? I don't have time to interpret the veiled statements of advisors, so I became a thief, an assassin, whatever I needed to be. People will not speak to the princess. Bad news kills the messenger first. Silk Fox knows how to persuade. That is how I learned about the activities of Death's Hand. There are many excuses for a vain princess to retreat from sight for days, even weeks at a time. My father encourages such getaways. And if courtiers ever discovered that I was not where I said I would be, who would dare question the Heavenly Lily? I may eschew the formality of it, but being the daughter of the Emperor still has its privileges. I do not like to speak about that. I try to avoid the court as much as possible. It is filled with sycophants pandering to the fancies of my father, with little or no concern to their own dignity. It is distasteful. I can handle myself better than any of the fancy courtiers who attempt to match me. I know that someday the court will be mine to rule. When I succeed my father, there will be quite a cleaning out. But with Death's hand manipulating him, that day seems less and less likely. Ah, the shadow behind... There is a freedom in it. I have the resources to go anywhere in the secrecy to do anything. If I wished it, I could be quite carefree. But that is not what I have found in practice. Instead, I see how my father's reign has twisted, and I know I must do something. That's better. I like that you listen, although your request is still very improper. Unless you make me a little more comfortable. 
I have already shared something of myself. Can you tell me something about you? Is there anyone that you care for? A noble, how romantic. Aloof, separate by class and breeding, unattainable for a peasant, normally. Wanting someone you can never have, love you can never show in public. Such loneliness should not exist. I have contributed to that. The princess behaves as she should, reinforcing the very rules I despise, all to protect Silk Fox. Which one am I? I should not be ungrateful. Everything in my life is dedicated solely to making me happy, but I am at odds with so much. I am always behind a mask, not just when I am Silk Fox. I am not allowed to show an interest in politics, defending the Empire, or even spontaneous affection. You were amusing at first, but now I am drawn further than I meant to be. What do you suppose I should do about All right, that? All right, we're coming up on the end of the vi this video. I am actually going to show you guys what happens, though. This is, the, this is not a good way to end this. Um, if you're trying to keep her open palm, you need to pick the top option here. Uh, traditions can, you know, she, as long as you can... As princess, I oh, cannot pick and choose what rules the of the here. empire this I follow. something about maintaining Not if I'm trying to anyway. restore the glory um, I once had. And here I go you for the the charm, and no it, it's this is not the this is not how to how to do it as open palm. Um, the like the no dialogue one. options there I believe how are if you're trying this? to convert her to Why close fist. So uh, yep, so here you go. Uh, I admire your respect for tradition, so you'd want to pick that one. And then the following option, it should be the top the top one too. I went with I think I did go for the charm check, and it failed. Uh, I'm not sure if now I even sound like a revolutionary. could have um, I no longer you know, passed know if you speak it, of even if personal I, if desires I or the fate with my of the gems, empire. I'm not sure. Perhaps but, uh, you see them as the same. In the, in the next video, we'll, I'll, I'll show you guys. So that's the option right there. Pick the top one. Um, so in the next video, we'll actually pick that and we'll see how it how it continues. But this is a, this is a good example of a failed um, Silk Fox, Fox romance, and this, it'll end here. Uh, so anyways, like, comment, subscribe, whatever you guys want to do. If you guys are helpful, though, hope you're uh, liking you them. Hope you join me, me for more. All right, thanks love. for watching. It will always be the Empire. I won't abandon tradition because of my foolish needs. I am stronger than that. We need to stay focused on what is important, and that is exposing Death's Hand. Nothing else, nothing else matters. I, I think we are through here. We should return to your group before you set out for the...